So, internet and apartment. You could do the fancy way of going through vents and all that, but now we're not doing that. So the method I found to be the best, like little hooks in the ceiling, and you use these carabiners to put the ethernet cables through. And basically, it's going to run from the motive in here, up and over, into this room, where we're gonna have our gigabit switch set up. We're gonna have two computers in here in the nearest future for an office thing. It's gonna run back up and then over for these two rooms. Also, for Ethernet cables, if you're ever looking for Ethernet cables, use either Monoprice or use Amazon. You can get them really cheap. If you use anywhere else, you're paying too much. Got some things laying around? Okay. So, I hope these hooks don't come out. So, the idea with the carabiners is that you can slap a cable in real quick and then you can easily take them down and apart over and over again without having to go through a annoying process and this way we can theoretically run a bunch of cables and the hooks don't come out well that's annoying so pro tip don't put all the weight on a single hook tighten it later Velcro instead. Velcro hook. This should be where most of the weight would be. So this one, if this one is nice and secure, we should be good. And it doesn't fit around the hook. Alright. Making progress. I need a smaller carabiner. <laughs> smaller carabiner. And that hook just fell out. Alright, okay. That one's in. So maybe... Put the bad boy up there. Okay, mostly clear. Can't tell, not even there. Cram this up here. Just kind of tighten that for now. Don't worry about that later. I'll make that look prettier later. Okay. Now I'm gonna hold out hope. But this, this hook isn't going to fall off the ceiling. That one looks more secure. Okay. Making progress. Alright. Another one. This one we could probably make it to a hook as well. No, okay. But for now, we want to trust that. Okay. Now, theoretically, there's a bunch more of these, so the weight should be more evenly distributed. A lot of weight on this one, but I think it'll be fine. I'll the one. I've, I've good experience with these. Void is spinning. Okay. That's how it's done. This feed into the switch. Then we're going to grab our next cable. So these two will be for the computers up here. We'll have four. Again, I do with carabiners, you can just keep adding cable in, and we'll be fine. Although, it's quite a little weight now. So, also come down here, check that in there. He can untangle that mess of wire. Not my wire, not my problem. <laughs> it's his, it's the caravan's wire, that's why. It's not my problem. Third room's cable doesn't come until Monday, but this cable is pretty long. It's not that long. The idea was to have white so that it's not as noticeable. I think it does a pretty good job. It's not as noticeable. It's not bad. It's the, uh, it's the uh, you know, the, the modern look to it. I don't think this is a render this room. No way. That's fine. 
come close. We could run across the floor for now. How close? Oh, that's that's what you call a perfect. Is that not even? What the hell is that? Oh, it comes down. What is that? That's what we call a perfect fit. Look at that. We put the boom safety mechanism. And that, my friends, is how you wire the apart with the internet for like $20. The two computers will be going here and here. This will be our weather office in the near future. Uh, here we have our Linux box. This will be running uh, Linux on it for basically the various weather programs, called, uh, including AWIPS2 and Gempack. Uh, I think we might be able to get Viz5D on here too. It's a uh, Pentium, I don't know which. It's running, right now it's running 2 gigs of DDR2, but I have another 2 to give it 4 gigs of DDR2. Not the greatest computer in the world, but Linux is the most demanding thing. And then for our main computer machine, which will be recording videos and such, this is kind of the, the base building of it. You probably saw our water cooled with a cup of water. That's what most of this computer is. We're swapping out the power supply with something a little bit more dependable. We're also adding a GTX 660 Ti graphics card in there for video and then we have a custom Hyper 212 cooler as well so I'm really excited. Thanks for watching! If this uh, helped you figure out your internet plan for your apartment, give it a like. Thanks for subscribing if you're going to do that and uh, we'll see you again next time.